Hey everyone, this is Wavelet Audio. Today we will talk about our eight string guitar, Cabal 8. We created several versions of the instrument, Cabal 8 and Cabal 8 Elements. Cabal 8 Elements is a series of fully released guitars to start the process quickly and easily right from scratch. These guitars play our signature sound using already processed signals with our FX chains. These samples are very convenient for fast work, allowing you to get the desired result quickly without using third-party tools or plugins. The main Cabal 8 instrument plays a clean DI signal, carefully edited and ready for processing. Run it through your plugins to get the original and powerful sound. Let's take a look at the DI clean sound of the guitar. Our guitar is suitable for work in many genres. It can be hard music genres. Or it can be softer music genres. Let's look at some of the features of Cabal 8, which significantly accelerate the work and give a high quality result. First, Cabal 8 can play in two modes, Velocity Switch Mode and Key Switch Mode. In Velocity Switch Mode, the played string is selected automatically, from the highest to the lowest. The articulation of the note being played is determined by velocity. This slider, Fret Range, allows you to customize the playable zone. You can change this slider and link the automatization to it. We created Velocity Switch Mode for quick work with a guitar. Let us show you how it works. In key switch mode, you determine the string on which the note will be played with velocity. Articulation is selected using these buttons or five key switches. We sampled the entire guitar fretboard, from the first string to the eighth, from an open fret to 24th. This allows you to program a guitar part of almost absolutely any complexity. Let's look at the same riff played in different areas of the fretboard. Also, control the dynamic range of incoming notes by velocity in these modes. The quietest sound is located on the left edge, the loudest on the right. Note that the dynamic range in velocity switch mode is less than in key switch mode, since it was originally invented for quick work with the guitar and live playing. You can disable certain strings from the instrument. For example, it's possible to use the 8th string only, or turn an 8-string guitar into a 6-string guitar by disabling the 7th and 8th strings. Cabal 8 automatically reallocates the load from disabled to the remaining strings. Let's look at the following arpeggio. We are turning off all the strings except 5th and 6th. Cabal 8 will play the arpeggio using these two strings only.
guitar tuning, and portamento slide. We wanted to create an instrument that could play any guitar part in the first place. Previously I said that using key switch mode, you can choose which string and which fret should be used to represent the note. And that's not all. In the vast majority of virtual guitar instruments, you have to use the tune provided by the developer, not being able to edit it. In Cabal 8, you can also tune each of the eight strings. This makes it possible to set the instrument to any tune. Let's play a simple riff on one string with different tune settings and see how much this affects the sound. Cabal 8, we created a portamento slide as realistic as possible. It also includes the scratch and fret noises. We can change the slide range using this slider. We can also link the automization to it. The volume of all noises can be changed in the Options tab. Let's see how it all works on a more complex riff. Let's finally look at the full possibilities of using the tuning of the guitar and automization of the portamento slide. In the next example, we use two different Cabal A instruments with different tune settings. possibility of detailed equalization. For example, we can equalize the whole instrument, or even a specific articulation of a separately selected string. For example, in this riff, we will try to make short palm mutes more clear. First, listen to it without the equalizer. Let's turn on the equalizer and see how it works now. We have a true doubling algorithm. Two guitars are playing at the same time on the left and right channels with individual random round robin selection. The note delay and start position are also randomized. Of course, you can activate or deactivate double track. The degree of randomization can be changed with this slider, and the delay between the left and right channels can be changed here. Let's look at the articulations list in Cabal 8. At first, standard guitar articulations. Sustain, palm mute, short palm mute, Harmonics, X note. Now, let's take a closer look at the following playing articulation. FX's, natural harmonics played on 6th, 7th, and 8th strings on 3rd and 4th frets. Let me show you how it sounds without processing. Finally, I'd like to show you how we can use this articulation in practice. Let's listen. Next articulation is tapping. It's a guitar playing technique, but in Cabal 8, it also works similar to hammer on legato and pull-off technique. Tappings can be activated with sustain articulation, 
when one note overlaps another on the same string. At first, let's listen to the small riff without tappings. And now let's listen to the same riff, but with tappings. Let's listen to another riff without tappings. The same riff with tappings. If you feel you need a more accented guitar sound, you can use the pre-peak knob on the options tab. Using this knob, you can increase or decrease the pre-peak volume of the guitar samples. For more convenient sketching and live playing, we created Infinity and Solo Modes. Solo Mode disables polyphony and allows the instrument to play only one note at a time. Infinity Mode activates Infinite Sustain Function. It works similar to a sustain pedal. For example, you can activate both modes and play the riffs quickly using Velocity Switch Mode, or go to Key Switch Mode and play on specifically selected articulation. I want to note that you can save the resources by bypassing strings or articulations. You can use these buttons to deactivate the strings from the instrument, unloading them from memory, and reducing the size occupied by the library. These buttons allow you to deactivate articulations, entirely unloading them from memory. You can click on the image of the guitar to completely turn it off from memory and the engine. After that, double track will not be enabled. Turning off both guitars at the same time is impossible.